subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. From a Russian film being shot in space to a rare tardigrade found in amber. These are some of the stories that we talk about on this episode of Scientifix. I am Mohana Basu and every week on the Print Scientifix, I take you through some of the top science stories of the week from across the globe. This week, a Russian actor and director have reached the International Space Station for what may become the world's first movie shot in space. The Russian crew are likely to beat a Hollywood project announced last year by Tom Cruise, NASA and Elon Musk's SpaceX. The 37-year-old actor Julia Perisold and 38-year-old film director Klim Shipenko took off from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. They then successfully docked at the ISS. During a 12-day mission at the ISS, the duo will film scenes for the movie called The Challenge. Roscosmos, the Russian space agency, revealed that the film's plot is centered on a female surgeon dispatched to the ISS to save a cosmonaut. Two other Russian cosmonauts aboard the ISS are believed to have cameo roles in the film. Also this week, images from NASA's Perseverance Mars rover revealed that billions of years ago, when Mars had an atmosphere thick enough to support water flowing across its surface, flooding events carried rocks and debris into the Jezero crater. The research reveals that the now dry lake at Jezero crater was more complicated and intriguing than originally thought. The findings are based on detailed imaging that the rover provided of long steep slopes called escarpments or scarps in the delta which formed from sediment accumulating at the mouth of an ancient river that long ago fed the crater's lake. Jezero's fan-shaped river delta experienced late-stage flooding events that carried rock and debris into it from the highlands well outside the crater. Composed of five images, this mosaic of Jezero crater's delta scarp was taken on March 17, 2021 by Perseverance remote microscopic imager camera from 2.25 kilometers away. The images also provide insight into where the rover could best hunt for rock and sediment samples, including those that may contain organic compounds and other evidence that life once existed there. Imagery of the scarps showed layering, which revealed that a slow meandering waterway that fed the delta must have been transformed by later fast-moving flash floods. The science team estimates that a torrent of water needed to transport the boulders some tens of miles would have to travel at speeds ranging from 6 to 30 kilometers per hour. Meanwhile, scientists have found compelling evidence showing that Pluto's atmosphere is beginning to disappear, refreezing back onto its surface as it moves farther away from the Earth. The discovery was made when researchers observed Pluto passing in front of a star on the night of August 15, 2018. A team of astronomers had deployed telescopes at numerous sites in the US and Mexico to observe Pluto's atmosphere as it was backlit by the star for about two minutes. The rate at which the star disappeared and reappeared determined the density profile of Pluto's atmosphere. Several telescopes deployed near the middle of the shadow's path observed a phenomenon called a central flash caused by Pluto's atmosphere bending light into a region at the very center of the shadow. Pluto's atmosphere is supported by the vapor pressure of its surface ices, which means that small changes in the surface ice temperatures would result in large changes in the bulk density of its atmosphere. Pluto takes 248 Earth years to complete one full orbit around the Sun, and its distance varies from its closest point, about 30 astronomical units from the Sun, where one astronomical unit is the distance from the Sun to the Earth to 50 astronomical units from the Sun. 
For the past quarter century, Pluto has been receiving less and less sunlight as it moves farther away from the sun. But until 2018, its surface pressure and atmospheric density continued to increase. The continued persistence of Pluto's atmosphere suggests that nitrogen ice reservoirs on Pluto's surface were kept warm by stored heat under the surface. The new data suggests that they are starting to now cool. Back on Earth, researchers including those from the Harvard University have described the third fossil tardigrade on record, a new genus and species known as Paradoriphoribius chronocaribius. Tardigrades have famously survived the vacuum of space and even returned to life after being frozen for decades in Antarctic moss but it is still harder to find one fossilized. In fact, only two have ever been discovered and formally named until now. The specimen was preserved in 16 million year old Dominican amber. Measured at just over half a millimeter, the specimen has been identified as a relative of the modern living tardigrade superfamily. It represents the first tardigrade fossil recovered from the Cenozoic, the current geological era beginning 66 million years ago. The researchers say the pristine specimen is the best image fossil tardigrade to date, capturing micron level details of the eight legged invertebrates, mouth parts, and needle like claws, 20 to 30 times finer than a human hair. This is Mohana Basu, special correspondent at The Print. If you like our videos, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box.